Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome again guys. Welcome to another video lecture by Kami Biology. Today in this video lecture we are going to talk about Meselson and Stoll experiment. So let me write. Meselson and Stoll experiment. Okay. Now in the previous last three videos, if you guys remember, we talked about Griffith experiment, Hershey Chase experiment and we talked about uh, Avery and his co-worker experiment. And from these three experiment, we proved that DNA is actually the genetic material. But how the bacteria is replicated? Usually there are the replication of the mode. There are three modes of replication inside the bacterial cell. Okay, so three mode of replication we have inside the bacterial cell. The one we call that conservative, conservative DNA replication. Second, we have dispersal, parcel. DNA replication and third we have semi conservative DNA replication so we have three mode of DNA replication DNA can be replicated to a conservative manner it can be replicated to a dispersal manner and it can be replicated by a semi-conservative manner. Uh, first of all, let me tell you that uh, what is conservative DNA replication. Conservative DNA replication, let's suppose we have two uh, parental strain. This is let's suppose two parental strain. And from this parental strain, what we get, we get one of the this parental strain and other we get new daughter strain okay so this is called conservative dna replication how conservative means that safe fully conserved fully safe so it means that the parent dna is it itself but from the parent dna we get new daughter dna so these two strand are the new synthesized strain we call it daughter strand okay and this is the parental strand again it is divided uh, as it is Okay, now this is called conservative because in this case the DNA are fully conserved. Second, we have you know dispersal DNA conservative uh, DNA replication. This one parent. Let's suppose this is again the parental strain, and from this parental strain, what we get? We get this wave phenomena. And. Now this is called dispersal DNA replication. How? Because in dispersal DNA replication, we have one strain having both parental and uh, daughter. One strain, when it contains both the properties of parental as well as daughter strain, or when when we have one strain which have old, which have both old and new uh, means uh, uh, strand, we call it dispersal DNA replication. So this is the one strain having both property, old and new property. Similar, this is the dispar uh, this is the DNA strain. They have also the old DNA strain and new DNA strain. Now, the one strain is mixed component one is the old strain and the other is the uh, one is the old strand property and the other is the new strand property so we call that dispersal dna replication third we have another dna replication which we call it semi conservative dna replication so in this case what actually we have we have you know this is the dna strand we have one of the parental strain This parental strain is used as attempted to produce a new daughter strain. Similarly, we have again the parental strain which is used as a template and it produces a new daughter strain. This is called a semi-conservative DNA replication. This is called dispersal DNA replication and this is called conservative dna replication 
But in 1958, in 1958, okay, Matthew Messelson, Matthew Messelson, and Franklin Stahl proved that most of the time, most of the time, and many of bacteria can be replicated through semi-conservative manner. Most of the time, many of the bacteria can be replicated through a semi-conservative manner. Okay, so we have, you know, a DNA strand. It can produce uh, one of the DNA, one of the parental, which is used as a template, and from this parental strand, it can produce a new daughter strand. This is called semi-conservative DNA replication. They can prove it by their experiment. Okay, they take E. coli cell. Now, how actually they perform their experiment? For that purpose, <clears throat> they you know use different kinds of things. They usually use E. coli cell for his experiment. What actually he used? He used E. coli bacterial cell. He used cesium chloride. E. coli bacterial cell contain the DNA and E. coli bacterial cell can most of the time it can replicate it through semi-conservative DNA. That's why he select the E. coli cell and he select the cesium chloride. The cesium chloride is actually nothing but it is the uh, ingredient. These are what? These are the high, uh, these are the density ingredient. Density ingredient. Okay, so this is the E. coli, uh, this is the cesium chloride. What does density ingredient means? Cesium chloride have the property something that they can, you know, uh, take the heavy uh, substance or gradient and they can also take the light substance or light uh, gradient. Okay, by making a band. So, now, whenever they make the heavy bands at the bottom, so it means that there is the heavy substance or heavy ingredient. Whenever the bands are made at the upper area, so it means that there is the light substance or light gradient is present. And it is possible by using cesium chloride. So he used cesium chloride for their experiment. And he also used a centrifuge machine. Moreover, he used two types of media. He used the media which we call it ammonium chloride. And he take, first of all, he take this ammonium chloride. In the first stage, he take this ammonium chloride with N15, which is actually heavy nitrogen. Heavy nitrogen. And then they take this ammonium chloride second time which is actually light nitrogen and they take this medium with N14 which is actually light nitrogen or we can say normal nitrogen okay <clears throat> now inside the E. coli cell they have their genetic material and we call it DNA Inside the DNA, there are the nucleotide, and inside the nucleotide, we have the nitrogenous bases. And inside the nitrogenous bases, what we have, we have the nitrogens. So, what actually in the first steps, what Messelson and Stoll can do? They take the E. coli cell. Let's suppose this is the E. coli cell. Okay, they take the E. coli cell and they grow this E. coli cell inside a media. So this is let's suppose the media or solution which contain this media contain uh, usually ammonium chloride. And they tag this media with the heavy nitrogen and this heavy nitrogen is a uh, N15 and in the presence of heavy nitrogen N15 they allow this bacteria to grow and multiply.
to produce their many generations okay now this bacteria is contain heavy nitrogen but we don't know that how it contain heavy nitrogen it contain heavy nitrogen by using this experiment by using messels and thought experiment it can show that this first solution can contain heavy nitrogen uh, uh, bacterial cell heavy nitrogen containing bacterial cell then he take out these bacteria and after that what actually he do he grow such bacteria into another medium now let's suppose this is another medium this medium this time contain light nitrogen again this media contain cesium chloride in the form of light nitrogen cesium chlor uh, sorry ammonium chloride in the form of light nitrogen or normal nitrogen and it is n14 now this is the bacterial cell that contain n15 okay and after some time they allow just for a little time they you know use this one media and they just pour the bacterial cell in this media just for a little time now at the third stage they take out each of the bacterial cell and grow in another medium which has again cesium chloride sorry ammonium chloride not cesium chloride ammonium chloride okay and this is the bacterial cell that can carry n14 as well as n15 but we don't know that how it contain n14 and n15 now they actually they perform this kinds of experiment let me once again tell you that what actually he do first of all he take the e coli cell and grow it in the presence of high uh, or heavy nitrogen medium and that is sodium chloride and they pour heavy nitrogen then he allow this bacteria to replicate their genetic material and to divide so many times after that they can take out this bacteria that contain n15 nitrogen they don't know but actually it contain n nitrogen uh, heavy nitrogen and then they grow this heavy nitrogen containing bacteria into another medium which contain light nitrogen which we call that n14 again they can take this media so ammonium chloride with n14 and then they allow the bacteria for a small for a short period of time maybe uh, for 10 minutes grow this bacteria just for 10 minutes and this is just for 1 minute and they allow this bacteria to divide and replicate after that they allow this one then they take out the bacteria and grow into another ammonium uh, into another medium which we call it ammonium chloride medium and then they grow each of the bacteria for 40 minute okay now first of all what actually he, uh, they don't know they don't know there is a question arise in his mind that bacteria which i take with n14 as well as n15 the new generation of the bacteria have n14 property or n15 property they don't know about that the new generation of the bacteria because they they take the bacteria with the 15 as well as they also take the bacteria with n14 as well but the next generation the new generation of the bacteria which is obtained they don't know that whether this bacteria have n15 property or this bacterial dna contain n14 or this bacterial dna can contain n15 they don't know about that okay they don't know for this purpose they can use centrifuge and they can use uh, cesium chloride okay now they use cesium chloride because cesium chloride can 
separate the substances with itself they can separate the two substances or gridden with itself with a high density they can separate the nitrogen heavy nitrogen and at the mid at the bottom and they can separate light nitrogen at the uh, above uh, side of the uh, tube okay and then they can allow those substances which have both property at the mid at the mid area so what actually he can do he take out one of the tube so this is first tube in the first step he take a tube and he loaded here e coli cell e coli cell having n 15 having heavy nitrogen and after that he centrifugated okay he centrifugated at 40000 speed 40000 or 400 4000 or 40000 speed okay anyway at that speed they can spin this tube at that high speed for almost 20 hours and after some times they checked out that uh, uh, sorry uh, they also you know loaded another uh, sample here which we call that cesium chloride okay so i forget that they also loaded cesium chloride and they loaded this e coli n15 and mixed them and then they centrifugated at a 4000 speed for 20 hour and after that after 20 hours what actually they find out inside this tube they check out one band which is very dark and which is present at this bottom area so this is the first band that he find out okay this is the first band and this is actually heavy band from this first solution and they allow this bacteria for 1 minute so for 1 minute usually the bacteria will be divided for a short period of time and they have this property heavy because they can take the bacteria with heavy now this time they can take the bacteria with the heavy the bacteria uh, having the heavy nitrogen as well as this media have the light nitrogen so they take out each of the solution now second time they take out the solution again now this is the second stage they take out this solution they loaded the bacteria which contain n14 as well as n15 okay 14 and 15 because they can allow the bacteria for 10 minute so they can also take some of the n14 and some of uh, they have already n15 but they can also take some of the n14 uh, property of uh, some n14 as well now after that they also loaded here cesium chloride cesium chloride and this is the e coli 14 as well as 15 they also perform centrifugation for 20 hours and for 4000 speed at that speed after 20 hours they again checked out at optimum temperature usually at optimum temperature and they also you know checked out now at this after 20 hours they checked two bands now first bands can show the heavy nitrogen property which is you know heavy because it can settle at the bottom i already tell you for for from the beginning i already tell you that cesium chloride have something property that they can you know take the heavy particles or heavy substance or heavy gradient at the bottom 
in the form of bend and they can you know take the light uh, substance or light ingredient in the form of bend at the above position okay now at that stage they can you know from this uh, from this second step they find out two bands and at that area there is also one band is also but this is you know less or medium band this is the medium band in this medium band they can see less of very less of light nitrogen bacteria light nitrogen of the bacteria very less okay now after that in the third in the third step what actually he concluded in the third step in the third steps again this is the first second and then at the third step what actually he concluded at the third steps at the third step they can again take the test tube now they loaded the bacteria which contain at that medium they loaded the bacteria here now this bacteria is contain n14 as well as n15 and uh, so the bacteria which are divided so many time and there are many generation of the bacteria at that medium so maybe there is n14 as well as n15 dna strand okay so they are loaded here but they don't know metals and estrol don't know they just check out that whether this generation of the bacteria can contain n14 and n15 or not or they just check that whether the bacteria is divided semi conservatively or not so for that purpose they can loaded the sample in this test tube now they take out the sample and they loaded the sample in this test tube and as well as they also loaded the cesium chloride after some time again they centrifugate it for 20 hours at a speed of 4000 speed and at that time after 20 hours they check three bands this was the surprise result for him check three bands now in the first bands they checked out to the heavy nitrogen the second band they checked out light nitrogen at the medium they also checked the third bands which is present at the medium at the medium they checked or at the mid band they check both property okay now at this mid line actually here is the dna replication is usually happen why because this bacteria is present at that position now the bacteria are usually present at that position and they can check that in this bands there is 50 50 percent light nitrogen and 50 percent is the heavy nitrogen so we have 50 percent light nitrogen and 50 percent heavy nitrogen so it proved that dna is actually replicated by semi-conservative manner if it is replicated in a conservative manner definitely at this at this medium they will check heavy or they will check light they will check heavy or they will check just light if if it is a conservative manner let's suppose if you says that if it is a conservative manner so definitely this medium will have what this medium band will have light property or they have the heavy property or they have the heavy nitrogen or they have the light nitrogen but they don't have the heavy and light nitrogen they have both so it means that this is actually the semi-conservative dna replication that dna uh, can be replicated through semi-conservative manner or if you may ask a question that why it is not the dispersal uh, DNA replication because uh, when they loaded here so one of the strain having N14 and the other strand having N15 not both strand have N14 and N15 N14 and N15 not both so also we can say that it is not that DNA can be replicated through this manner okay so dna will be not replicated as this manner as well because dna can conserve one of the strand and use this one strand as a template to produce another strand uh, new daughter strand which is actually n14 
This is how they can conclude it from this experiment that DNA is actually replicated through a semi-conservative manner. Okay, from this whole experiment they can find out. Again, let me tell you, let me repeat the whole things once again. Misselson stalled in 1958, Matthew Misselson and Franklin Stoll. They can, you know, prove that DNA is actually replicated in a semi-conservative manner. Okay, so they take the E. coli cell and they grow each E. coli cell inside the media which contain heavy nitrogen in the form of sodium chlo uh, ammonium chloride and then each bacteria grow and then they take out the solution and centrifugate it in the presence they take out the solution and they also loaded the cesium chloride cesium chloride have that property that they can take they can you know uh, keep the heavy nitrogen uh, uh, the heavy particles or ingredient in the form of band at the uh, at the base area and they can keep and place the light substance at the above area okay that's why they can use cesium chloride now they put cesium chloride and centrifugate this one solution after 20 hours they can you know break the cell with detergent and they can also load it here RNAs and protease inside to degrade the protein and RNA as well so we have just DNA so they after that they loaded the DNA okay they not loaded the whole cells here they just loaded the DNA portion so remember this one part so after they loading the DNA here so after that they check out the heavy bands it shows that this solution have just heavy okay after the second steps Again, they take each of the bacterial cell and break it with by using detergent and degrade the RNA and protein by using RNAs and protease respectively. And then they loaded each of the bacteria into this one test tube and also loaded cesium chloride. And after the centrifugation of 20 hours at 4000 speed, they check two bands. One of the band have high substance and the other band have medium means some of the high, some of the medium some of the high some of the light substance and they concluded that still the dna is replicated in a, a, a conservative or dna have still dna have what this nitrogen 15 after that they grow they take each bacteria for many times they take the bacteria for 40 minutes to replicate the bacteria so the new generation of the bacteria they just want to check that the new generation of the cure what have the new generation of the bacteria? Either the new generation of bacteria have heavy nitrogen property or the light nitrogen property. They just want to check this one property. Because they already know that the bacteria have this one property because I take it with N15. That's why they have this one property. I take it with N14. That's why they have this one property. But the third time they take you know, bacteria have both property. Third time, they just want... If the bacteria have N14, so it means that it is a conservative. If it have N15 property, so it means it is again conservative. But if it have the both properties, it means that bacteria is actually replicated through a semi-conservative mean. Third time, they proved. How? They again take the solution, loaded the cesium chloride and loaded there the bacteria which contain N14 and N15 and centrifugate it for 20 hours and centrifugate it for 20 hours at 4000 speed after that they checked out three bands one bands heavy nitrogen the other bands is light nitrogen and the medium they also check another bands and this band can show the dna replication property here is the dna present also and here is also the dna present but these are the original dna and here is the new dna synthesized they, these are the new synthesized strand of the DNA and the new synthesized strand of the DNA they can check that light and heavy nitrogen both property light nitrogen property and heavy nitrogen property so they checked heavy nitrogen as well as nitro, nitro, light nitrogen as well so 50% there is the light nitrogen and 50% there is the heavy nitrogen so from this third steps, it is proved that bacteria is usually divided in a semi-conservative manner.
if it is divided in a conservative manner so definitely this one medium have either light or either heavy property but they don't have any one of them they have both property if it is the dispersal so they have mix match component so there will be mix match component but there is no mix match component so these two are rejected and only one is accepted so it means that dna is always replicated in a semi conservative manner so that's all about the meselson and stoll experiment i hope you get the idea about the meselson and stoll experiment but if still you have any kind of question in your mind you can write it into a comment inshallah i will give you answer as soon as possible so if you like this video make sure to hit the like button share this video and subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos like that after this videos uh, after this videos i'm going to talk about dna replication that how actually dna is replicated what kind of enzymes we are involved in dna replication in a detail okay so keep watching my video by subscribing the channel thank you so much